Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm excited because I'm going to be showing you how to create a website for your mini course. All right, so before we get started, I'd like to remind you that all the links to everything I talk about is in the video description below. All right, so first things first, hosting. We like using WordPress because WordPress gives you total control of your content, your course, your pricing and everything. Basically, you own everything. All right, so Web hosting companies, usually when you set up with them, you get a basic WordPress install. Okay, so the next step now after you've installed WordPress is to choose a page builder, which I also linked in the video description below. The page builder that I like is Divi, but of course you can use any page builder that you would like out there just in case you already have a page builder. All right, now let's dive in because I already have WordPress installed. So let's get started. So right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. The next thing we need to do is to head over here to plugins. So I'm going to click here on uh, add new and the plugin we're going to install is called Tutor LMS. All right, so let's search for it. So I'm gonna come over here and search. So here it is. I'm gonna click install now. So while this is installing, this install here will give you a basic website up and running, no messing about. And this is absolutely free. So for those of you that are on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money setting up your website, this is the quickest and easiest way to have a mini course out there up and running. Okay. Like I said, it's absolutely free. You can have your course as you, as you shall see in this video. So next I'm going to click here on activate to activate the plugin. And basically we are good to go. Now to the LMS also has a pro version. So the pro version gives you extra features and it allows you to integrate and use all these other features that you may need in the future. So in my case, of course, I like the pro, I like features. So I've gone ahead and installed the pro version as well, but in your case, you don't. Okay. So now that we've installed Tutor LMS, what you want to do now is to head over here to Tutor LMS. You click here on courses and this will give you a list of all your courses. So in your case, you are going to create a course from scratch. Okay. So let's do that. I'm going to click here on add new. So let's call this amazing course. Next, we're going to give this course a description. So I'm going to come over here, paste my description just like that. And I'm just going to do a bit of formatting and I'm good with that. Next, we are going to now come over here to our course settings. So this is where you can say, okay, you know what? I want a maximum of let's say 200 students, but if you leave it at zero, that means it's unlimited. Next, you specify your difficulty level. So this could be expert, intermediate, beginner, or it's for all levels. So I'm going to leave mine at intermediate. And now we come to the course builder. So this is where we get to set up everything. So I'm going to start off by clicking here on add new topic. So the topic name is actually the modules. So I'm going to say module one. Next, you want to give this module a summary. So I'm going to paste it in here, click on add. And over here, we have additional information like course duration, benefits of the course, requirements, uh, targeted audience, and so on. But you know what? We're not going to spend so much time adding all this information here. The most important part I'm looking at here is the video. So you are able to use all these options here. So we can embed the video. We can use Vimeo, YouTube, and so on. So what I'm going to do just for the sake of time is I'm going to pretend that I've already created my uh, videos and they are sitting on YouTube. So I'm going to go now to YouTube, grab the URLs and add them over here. But before I do that, I want to make sure I choose YouTube here and then I want to paste my URL over here. All right. So I'm here on my YouTube channel. I'm going to copy a shareable link from here back on my site paste my URL in here. So this video is going to be the introductory video that people see about this particular course. Okay. So just bear that in mind. These are not the lessons, but this is just a, like a trailer, for example. All right. So moving on now, now that I've added all this information, I'm going to come over here now to the lessons. So if I click here on lessons of module one, this is where I can get to add all my information. So I'm going to come over here. So this lesson here is going to be called lesson one. All right. So what I'm going to do here on uh, lesson one is I am going to choose my video source. Click on this drop down again. I'm going to choose YouTube. I'm going to paste it in here like that. And over here, I can give this a description. Now here I can also upload a featured image. So I'm going to come over here. I'm pretty sure I have some images in my media library. And yes, I do. I'm going to use this one here. But if you don't have any images in your media library, you want to come over here to upload files, select files, and this will go to your hard drive. And this is where you could find your images. 
But in my case, I have some images in my media library. So I'm going to say use this media. So I'm almost done here and I'm going to click here on update lesson. So now my lesson has been updated. So when it comes to naming all your topics and all your lessons, it's important because this is a mini course. So this is where you want to uh, go in and give this context. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here now. So uh, instead of saying module one, we can say how to, how to start a baking business. Okay. So that will be maybe the, the title of this mini course, right? And then I'm going to click update topic. And then I'm going to come over here and publish. Now, does that mean that our course is complete? No, you want to make sure you have all the elements that you need for this mini course. And also your lessons, they also need to have context. Okay, so let's go back in and uh, also rename this. So over here, we have most of our information. I'm going to come to my course builder here and then go into how to start ba uh, a baking business. And then over here on the lessons, I want to go in and change this from lesson one to how to get funding, update lesson. And then for my next lesson here, give us a different name. Okay, so for this lesson, we could go ahead and say five employment tips. Okay, so you can add them over here. That's your description. Video source, again, I'm gonna go for YouTube. I'm gonna add my URL, I'm gonna paste it here. Again, I'm gonna upload my attachment and this time of course it's an option but if you want to have any attachments uh to this you can just add it i'm just going to use an image for now use this media and that's my attachment right there update the lesson so now pretty much this has been updated then now let's click here on update and let's take a look at our course so i'm going to open this in a new tab all right so over here you see this video so this could be a video that pretty much summarizes what this course is about over here we have our course description and when we scroll down, this is our topic. So how to start a baking business. And then here is how to get funding and so on. So how do people get enrolled on this? So you can see here we have this big button which says enroll now. So you can click here to enroll. And this now will give me access to all the lessons over here. So you can see here my course status is set to uh, 0%. So I'm going to come over here now. And then let's say I want to watch this get funding uh, video. I can just come over here, click on that. Now that's going to take me now to the actual video. And here it is. So I can just minimize this and just make this uh, nice and big. And I can pretty much start playing this. Now, notice one thing. When we take a look at this video here, it doesn't look like it's from YouTube, does it? Which is a good thing because uh, YouTube, you know, adds all these designs that shows that this is a YouTube video. So I really like this. And to be honest, this is uh, good enough for you to present and uh, show all your um, potential people that are going to be your students. So uh, over here, we can also have uh, question and answers. And all this is in the free version, by the way. So this is where you can add your question, submit question, and you'll get notified and you can respond to this. Okay, so pretty much this is how you set up a website for your mini course. So all you had to pay for really for this is your page builder and also your hosting. The software that actually helps you set this up is absolutely free. So this is how you can get up and running really fast. Now you can also minimize your costs by perhaps not even going with the page builder and just using the bare bones WordPress and this will work fine too. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Let me know what you guys think and leave all your questions, all your comments in the video comments below. All right, guys, see you soon. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Take care.